Finally, let's look at one that is like number 14 and 15. I call these problems plug and chug problems. It says the equation used to predict college GPA range uh, 0 to 4.0 is uh, y equal to 0 0.19 plus 0 0.15 times x sub 1 plus 0 0.002 times x sub 2 where x sub 1 is a high school GPA and x sub 2 is a college board, board score anywhere between 200 and 800. Use the multiple regression equation to predict a college GPA for a high school GPA of 3.3 and a college board score of 500. Uh, you can use a calculator. I mean, let, let's, let's see if I can pull my calculator up here. Hang on just a second. Here it is. So, all right, so my equation is 0 0.19 plus 0 0.15 times, where's my times, right here. Let's see, what was their high school GPA? 3.3, so I put in 3.3. The rest of the equation plus 0 0.002 times their score on this uh, college board test. Let's see, 3.3 and this. Uh, college board score of 500. So times 500 equals 2.873 round to the nearest uh, tenth. So 2.873 rounded to the nearest tenth would be 2.9. Let's go ahead and look at number 15 and see how similar this is. In other words, we're just plugging and chugging. We're plugging the values into this equation they gave us to see what it spits out. All right, let's see. Hang on just a sec. The last question is very similar. It says, the equation used to predict the total body weight in pounds of a female athlete at a certain school is so y equals negative 119 plus 3.56 times x1 plus 1.69 times x2, where x1 is the athlete's height, x2 is the percent body fat, Use the multiple regression equation to predict the total body weight for a female athlete who is 64 inches tall and has 16% body fat. All right, here's my equation. So I'd say 1, 1. Uh oh, it's a negative though. Can't forget that. 119. And on this calculator, I put in the 119, then I hit the plus minus button. Let's find it. There it is. So negative 119 plus 3. 0.56 times um, times the height. What was her height? 64 inches. 64. And then plus 1.69 times the uh, percent body uh, fat. So times 16 because it says percent body fat, okay, equals 135.88. What did they want it rounded to? To the nearest tenth, 135.88 rounded to the nearest tenth is 135.9. So it's a plug and chug problem. Plug in the values for x sub 1 and x sub 2. Chug out the answer. Some folks might want to do this on their handheld calculator. You could even set up a little Excel sheet to do it, but I would do it on my calculator. I would do it a couple of times to make sure, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. Where I see most of the errors, students will forget about the negative sign. And on this particular calculator, which I guess is a Microsoft calculator, if I wanted to put in negative 119, again, let me hit the clear button. I'll put in the 119 or the 119, then I hit the plus minus button, which is right here. Plus one. Make it negative 119. Easy problem once you know you just plug and chug. Take care now. This is the last video for the week.